still here on the red carpet. I am here with the man of the day himself, the crypto guru, the man we are all here to celebrate, Mr. Tola Fadugagbe. How are you doing today? I'm very fine, thank you. So how do you feel? You know, everything you imagined just coming into reality. How do you feel at this moment? Yeah, um, to say I feel great is an understatement. Of course. Um, overwhelmed. In fact, <laughs> I can't talk. I'm just too excited. Um, looking at how much of a journey it has been from where you started to where it is now, what inspired you to write the book, The Simplified Cryptocurrency? What inspired, what was your inspiration behind the book itself? Uh, so many things. So many things. Uh, my story. You know, there are things that you emphasize and they come to reality. Mm -hmm. So you want to tell your, your story in a very different dimension. Exactly. You know, when it comes to uh, creating wealth, mm -hmm. when it comes to making money, when it comes to uh, making progress financially, yeah. growing up is a different mindset. It's um, it's a different um, understanding. You know, the way we're told about um, finances, about money making. But then I came across cryptocurrency yeah. and those things, you know, to me it's as if um, and they realize because as against what we are told mm -hmm. is what is working now okay and aside that if you look into today's society we are we are the society whereby if you create wealth and you don't extend um to others coming behind you mm -hmm. you may not enjoy your wealth exactly i mean we have teenagers going into ritual killings it is it is it is barbaric. Appalling, appalling to say. I mean, and they feel like it is the best they can make money. Mm -hmm. For someone like Tola, he knows that you don't do that to make money. Mm -hmm. There are things you can do. So the reason I was inspired, you know, my story, the men and society. So I was trying to put that book together so that it can go. I mean, apart from the hard copy, it's available on Amazon. People can also order the hard copy or the soft copy just to change their mindset towards money and world creation. Okay, so looking at the process, because certainly to put all this together, there had to be a process. Of course. Um, what were the challenges you faced while putting this book together? You know, because you have to get research here and there, you have to get people to tell you what they know about it. What were the challenges you faced? Is it finance? Is it, um, you know, getting people to want to talk about it? You know, putting the pieces together. What were the challenges you faced? Yeah, I, I, I faced few challenges, um, including um, in the area of um, editing. For those that ordered mm -hmm. the book the first time, someone ordered from um, the ebook. I think from um, someone from UK. Wow. Another one from Singapore. Mm -hmm. um, they gave me feedback about some certain errors, so we have to put pull it um, down. So people were like, "Oh, they want to buy, but it's showing so that." Have I saw that? But today we are working on some certain things. So you know, the, the technical glitch we encountered was one thing. Then also in the in the in the area of finance, of course, this is 100 percent funded by Crypto Masterclass. Of course, no external funding. So it was a bit, you know, I was like, do, do I really want to do this? Should I just do a copy and all that? Oh, add copy and not push it too much. Yes, I was just, you know, I just want to do something like the way I do basically on Facebook Live. Let me go do something, but this time around about a book. But you know, my team keeps saying. Let's have a lunch. A lunch if I will. You know how much that will cost? No, we have to lunch. Sapa <laughs> de like this. And, I so much. and I'm not even thinking of breaking even. But I'm happy that as against what I thought, the impact already, I mean has been amazing. Has been amazing. You know, um, the moment we announced the book launch, we started getting massive volunteers, massive support. Like far and wide, you know. Crypto TV, Daba TV, many people are there that I've not seen for the very first time. Hmm. They volunteered in many ways to make this a reality. Mm -hmm. In fact, I saw this place online a few days ago. Wow. A few days ago. I didn't come to this event until last night. Hmm. So they were the one putting things together. Massive support Massive from support. people. Some are on the mainland, some outside Lagos, and they'll be running a desk later. Why I'm just there looking. <laughs> Okay, so taking it a top notch higher, um, what exactly is the book about? Because I know you're still going to go inside and talk about um, what the book is about, but give us a little bit of a brief 
on what the book is about. So for right. people that do not really know what it is about, will understand where it's coming from. Okay, as a green on, when I started my crypto journey, I knew how difficult it was to even understand what is Bitcoin. Okay. Not to talk of what is blockchain. Exactly. So, and I get same question every day because I get new lead, new followers every day. They inbox me. This Bitcoin, I want to understand. So we will tell you that I want to understand this Bitcoin work. Okay. W O R K. Okay. I want to understand this Bitcoin work. Okay. Um, this like they don't even get to understand. They don't it. understand so, the concept. And I was there. Okay. So reason the book is titled the simplified cryptocurrency i use a very simple language in such a way that when they start reading it they want to ask that what is bitcoin mm -hmm. just take for instance if you see um a toddler a baby you may give that be one thousand naira. Mm -hmm. Baby may not understand that what is this yeah but for an adult they know exactly the value of that money exactly now for instance if you tell an adult take this one thousand naira, go and buy me an expensive wrist watch mm -hmm. they will tell you this can't buy because they know they the value sell. they know the worth of it exactly with the simple cryptocurrency reading it we expose you mm -hmm. to the world of cryptocurrency okay um just before you go what do you think is the future of cryptocurrency in this part of the world nigeria africa and the world at large and i want you to also thank a lot of people that have supported you you know just call out some names that you think um should be on the landmark of people that have kept you going throughout this journey so let's start off with what do you think is the future of cryptocurrency in this space um the future of cryptocurrency in nigeria in africa can only get better let's go back to when we started 2016 during the heat of mmm mm -hmm. now let's talk about today okay despite the fact that our government is not, is not in total support of cryptocurrency mm -hmm. but the fact remains that we can't afford to remain poor yes. we have to fend for ourselves i mean our power water security we fend for ourselves so we have to also take our financial life seriously exactly so the fact remains that people will always look for a way to leverage mm -hmm. to pay below be small for Nigeria. It's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> so it can only get better. People only need to understand how it works before they before they plug in. I mean, I say this, you know, um, every now and then. No Nigerian, no Nigerian comes into cryptocurrency having a vast knowledge of it and turns back. Mm. If you've seen one, let me know that they have. Is that is that supposed to be a challenge? Is it's not a challenge. I think. <laughs> I think Mr. Tolafadukabwe is challenging some people here. <laughs> it, it, it is a reality. If they come the first time with that proper knowledge and they go, they feel like, oh, this is a Ponzi scheme that's Christ. Mm -hmm. Then we still come back and be like, oh, now let me tell you a very short story. In 2018, that is post bull run of 2017, you know, we had an event at uh, GRE in Kenya. Okay. A guy came, he was so excited to meet me and, and the rest of us. Then, in 2018, we, we met in 2017. 2018, there was a market crash. I mean, Bitcoin went down by almost by more than 80 percent. Wow, almost 90. Went around minus 88 percent. You know, from um, 20 thousand dollars to below 4 thousand. How did you cope? Because if it's me, I would have been in a serious. The fact <laughs> remains that when you when you understand that these are market realities, mm. they are market fundamentals. No market is entirely stable. If yeah. it's stable, it is boring. Mm. So the most volatile market in the world is the crypto market. So you just have to abide by its nature. Mm. We understand that oh, this thing when it goes down, upward, more profitable. Yeah. When it goes up, you'll be happy. You sell. So back to my story. In 2018, I keep on you know pushing uh, the ghost of cryptocurrency online. As against 2017, I was I was having massive engagement and all that in 2018 it dropped it is very normal mm -hmm. in fact if you have a free a free group where people join to learn cryptocurrency when it is in a bull market people will be joining joining and joining every day, <laughs> every day. But when there's a market crash everybody's reading. out <laughs> so the guy came i was surprised he ought to be someone that you know i should even take as a friend not just a mentee he said this thing that this thing that have crashed i'm still promoting this success the guy blasted me he blocked me on Facebook. Now, fast forward to last year. The guy called someone. The guy um, called a friend. He just arrived now. 
I was like, wait, I saw one man chop. She not allowed to be that. He said, yeah, you did, you did sleep. I, he said, you missed that Bitcoin, see? <laughs> nothing to do Bitcoin. It was, it was shocked to learn that Bitcoin has, you know, resulted from that Bitcoin. Yeah, it has increased to, in value. So, now, he is in. <laughs> full time. Full time. See, cryptocurrency be like, that relationship will be say maybe something they piss you off, but something is drawing you back. Nah, no, uh-huh. come and stay here. Maybe don't worry. Maybe not the food though. Maybe <laughs> not the way the pay fine. Maybe the guy fine. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, it keeps drawing you back. That's what it to be. Oh, how how do you want? How do you expect this launching to go? Well, let me, let me see. Go to my favorite go song. <laughs> one one B. <laughs> one one B. One one B. One one B. Well, the first means that um. It's a free event, mm-hmm. but of course, uh, people would always want to, you know, want to show support even financially. And one of the reasons we are here, not not actually the main reason, yeah. at least some people came here for that. So I don't think I will be disappointed in that area when it's come to launching. You I trust I your people one hundred. I, I, I trust my people. So <laughs> phones there now. <laughs> Before you go, I want you to thank, you know, say a word of appreciation to a lot of people that yeah. have helped you. You know, through this journey, it is now a reality. We have a lot of people saying beautiful things about you. I have not met you before, but the things I've heard about you are amazing. So what do you have to say to those people? Um, first off, I will start by thanking the CEO of Ripple TV Plus, Mr. Uh, Tony Wan Bishop, for his amazing support. I mean, we had a question on the phone and it was like, oh, we are going to do this. I said, <laughs> okay. I was surprised when they called me that, oh, we are on our way to your, to your house. I was like, on, he came with the entire crew, video, record everywhere. Then yesterday, he called me and said, this is not going to be an, like the usual book launch. Let us NFT this. Wow. So, 30 minutes ago, he called me into that room. And he showed me as I did like this, my left to do open seat on another Even level. Oh, on like, another level, I don't know my crowd. <laughs> so he has worked tremendously, like without even asking me for one penny. I mean, he showed me on open seat that this is how, in fact, the, the knowledge he shared with me mm. 30 minutes ago is a very massive one. I mean, it's a very bullish one, bullish signal. <laughs> <Green Dido. laughs> pa, 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 pa. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Tony. I want to thank. Um, the CEO of um, Daba TV, uh, Mr. Chris Ani, brought that your amazing support. I mean, a studio section at Daba Studio, nothing was paid for. Wow. And I mean, they keep calling, checking on me. It's tomorrow. Am I on the way? This and that. Even when I was going, I went home with goodie bag. <laughs> 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to thank uh, Mrs. Kikelomo. Uh, you are very amazing. I mean, even if I call her one a.m., she's she's there. She's there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough, man. Thank you very much. I want to thank Mr. Adekule. In fact, if there is a word to describe someone that would do a that would do a work for you like his own, yeah, Mr. Adekule, there are things that he would do, and I would be like, oh. This is very fine. Like he brings suggestions. He's actually in the charge of uh, media and all that. Wow. I mean, he, he helped me driving, you know, our YouTube channel, our socials at Crypto Masterclass. And you know, the entire social media engagement. Book, the design is the brain behind it. Wow. All those graphics, all those fine, fine graphics is the one behind it. Wow. I, I, I appreciate you, Mr. Dekule. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mrs. Elin Mustafa. Thank you very much, man, for your for your okay. volunteer. Okay, sir. So at this point, and, I, and know, I know, I know. Okay, one more thing. One more thing. Okay, one more thing. Before I thank God, <laughs> I want to thank my parents, <laughs> my family, my siblings. Thanks for coming. And lastly, Chikwe <laughs> Buka. God Almighty. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much um, for being here on the Red Carpet with me and sharing the journey and your experience and how far you have come and how far you are right now. 
Um, it's an amazing opportunity to be among the people that are frontlining this push, you know, in the industry because a lot of things are bringing our economy down. We, I can say we don't have an economy in Nigeria because our GDP is practically low. Um, but these, these are one of the things that will push people from that space of poverty and push them to a place of lasting, you know, success. And thank you very much for being here. Hello, everyone. My name is Tola, founder of Crypto Masterclass. Keep watching Crypto TV Plus. No dollar more. If you if you touch that thing, keep watching.